Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was uh, the theme tune from Dawson's Creek. In this episode, Scottish musicians answer the vital question. We take two MCs to enjoy a bit of greenery. A Glasgow man stands on an old stage. And we've got three full live tracks from Vakovi, Honeyblood and Midnight Line. Hello, this is Dieter, I'm Weaver, this is Ali, and we have a ridiculous amount to squeeze into this show. First up, a band from Glasgow who have had a pretty amazing year so far. They've got a huge summer coming up, and they're called Vakovi. It's a new one, and it's very, very sexy. was Vakovi and we're now joined by Janine. Hello. Hello. Hi Janine, thanks for coming and hanging out on the set. I'd uh, offer you some whiskey but it's actually just cold tea. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> tell us what has been happening with the band recently. Eh, uh, well, just getting totally psyched. That's not really cool words but I'll say it anyway. That's all right. uh, <laughs> psyched for Tina Park set, uh, look forward to that. And writing Power of Tunes, uh, we're going to get a new sexy EP out in September. Oh. Ooh, September? Yes, Excellent. September, big, sexy, sweaty, nice, mature, for Kobe sound. Good promises, mm. it'll be good. Brilliant. Looking forward to tea in the park? I may shit myself. Um, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, 1979? Oh, it wasn't actually a song, it was uh, Father Ted.
I don't know many musicians in Scotland that didn't go to the Barrowlands and watch their favourite band on stage and one day wish it would be them. Twin Atlantic Sam McTrusty is currently living that dream. We spoke to him to see how it feels. Sam from Twin Atlantic, man, I don't even know where to start. You're one of the biggest rock acts in the country. Um, arena tours, sell out tours around the UK. You have been supporting the likes of Blink 182, Front of Kerrang. How is it even possible to sum up how uh, that feels for a boy from Glasgow? I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> You've embarrassed me. Just uh, you up, man. Thanks, I guess, but I don't, I don't know. It's, um, I don't know, we're quite an insular band anyway, so we, we kind of just think in the future rather than like getting too caught up in like all that cool oh, shit that you just yeah. said. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just probably crumble. So we've brought you here to the world famous Glasgow Barrowlands Ballroom, somewhere that when I was growing up, it's definitely my like top three gigs ever mm. have been in this venue. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure that's the same story for loads of Scots. How does it feel to come into this venue and play it and suddenly go from, I presume, going there when you were younger mm-hmm. and then actually playing on this stage? It's weird when we played here, I can't even, it would have been May 2010. It was, it was kind of like you, you were saying when we came up here, it's like you, you build it up so much in your mm-hmm. head that it's always going to be a bit underwhelming. But um, because it is such an important place for like Scottish music, never mind Absolutely. if you're from Glasgow. And all I remember is walking out and then saying, thanks, good night or whatever at the end. I genuinely uh, don't, everything else is like a complete... A total blur. Yeah, yeah, but there was like little cameras set up around and... I've seen photos and whatnot after it and reviews, and I don't even remember any of it. Of course, so the first album you brought out, um, that had a lot of things dealing with it sort of stepping up, as you were saying earlier on, you mm-hmm. know, and growing up as a band and as people. You might not want to answer this question, but <laughs> the second album, where's that going to go? I've, I mean, it's hard to answer because we kind of, we're one of these bands that kind of tie all the, not, the loose ends together at the very end. Okay. Um, don't know, I, I guess I'm, I'm like a massive Bruce Springsteen fan, right? And he always talks about not really being conscious about what you're writing until you can step back and look at it yourself as a listener and stuff. So, really? I don't know, I think that kind of keeps us like fresh and we write about stuff that we genuinely feel and think about mm-hmm. rather than like overthinking it too much and right. becoming like a cliche or like... Course. I don't know. As well, it's like the second album, Dreaded. Uh-huh. It could go exactly. either way, so I don't know. We're just trying not to think about it and just right. let something natural happen. So, Brilliant. so one last one. Yeah. What tips have you got for those two shows you're doing in October mm. for anyone that's maybe never experienced the full Barrowlands live show? I don't know. I would say try and get as near the front as, as, as you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's one of those venues that's best experienced if you're a little bit disorientated and kind of like part of the mass of the room and stuff like that. Well, you smell great. Um, it was a whole album and it was it was you two's acting baby. I did it for the whole fucking album. <laughs> Picture the scene. You're in a beautiful Highland Glen next to the River Spey, maybe having a whiskey with your friends. It's midnight and you decide to go for a wee walk in the woods. So what do you find? You find 400 people going absolutely crazy for a Glasgow rapper. A whole night of hip hop, absolutely brilliant. That was me last weekend at the Insider Festival and the rapper I saw was Case One and it was just amazing. He's amazing and just a tip of the iceberg of the Scottish hip hop scene at the moment. There's so much going on, so many nights, so many battles, so many different albums being produced even in the last year alone. And at the heart of that, there's a heap of collaboration happening. Uh, so we thought in the spirit of that, we grab two Scottish MCs and take them for a little trip. Hip hop. Growing up in a small town in the Highlands, I basically knew nothing about hip hop, apart from Puff Daddy, Eminem and of course So Solid Crew coming to Inverness Town Hall and ruining the place. So Scottish hip hop, which used to be a contradiction in terms, now on main stages at festivals, it's on TV and it's releasing albums to critical acclaim. Two MCs leading the way are MC Solari from Stanley Odd and Louis Deadlife from Hector Berserk. Here they are performing the track Audacity.
I make my own way, you could never call it populist Walk alone, writing on my dog and bone, cultivating awkwardness Just to stay anonymous, I'm murdering my audience in the back shift Making heads lift as I'm clocking it, so let's get on with this I'm consumed with the need to turn the monstrous from posture into posthumous To say I'm on it is synonymous with stating the obvious Of course I body this Pill popping painkiller, record the leg reconnaissance I leave obnoxious pompousness, feeling nauseous Sick thoughtlessness, like a biologist vomiting To squander the politics of the honourless Raise a voice in the voiceless, like physics and conscious and poisonous With lyrics I'm honest and boisterous as two minds You make your choices with off colour like your jaundices Head on avoiding this, tell your dad I'm all seeing eyes are watching Here's that, I've been conversing with the botanist Planting seeds to get the latest crop blossoming A post-post-modernist Culture version 3.0 philosophist. philosophist In full effect but what's the cause of this? Advising caution if you're claiming you're the awesomest A fearsome engine redefining the novelist Salman Rushdie flexing his esophagus TV drama killed the novel, tell me who the author is The author's specialism is that he's inept at wisdom At best he's adept at nepotism Ayatollahs and priests dare to bless your pessimism Tell them John reads the Martin Luther King of terrorism Put George Galloway in the Senate with them. Junky connotations to heroinism Must be a right kick in the balls for raging feminism Rap with no ego exhausting the genes of a pauper The pocketless in your prerogative was as thin as your wallet is Cool singing to hell with the consequence I'm here to postulate my latest hypothesis Questioning what the definition of ironic is Will I provide the hammer and the nails for my coffin lid? lid? So where does that leave me creatively dropping this? Got my coffee fix and the odd copyist I gotta put these cocky kids in a context you can follow Kid not leave until the knowledge is disconced within your noggin lids The dramatic performance is unfortunate The passive smoking attacking a bold and sick softness Breathing music in the audience coughing As they're applauding his breath control and his confidence but throat cancer's oh, ominous it was acceptable not so long ago when ugly children were susceptible born in the, the rotten road. road abortions 33 steps across the road in the royal so opus dire at the hospital but so that I is watching Damn. all that flow could interrupt my stream of consciousness as I decipher glyphs and Roslyn and transmit the coordinates dead, dead life weekdays looking like a corpse that lives Mondays so left on the river bank to cross the sticks Catholic guilt and the work what? ethic of a protestant dedicated like a Muslim devoted to the prophet is a moralist, a moralist, more or less moralist Debating what the difference between ethics and morals is I'm honest with conformatives that follow, follow the obvious Pouncing off the ponderless Da Vinci code of lawlessness Spit roast the host and Mona Lisa's cop in it I blow the speakers with the volume of informative knowledge Which black out in black ops And an army of economists and Dave Hook The solar eye will leave them with a swollen eye Won't deny anything benevolent In a taxi with Al Moat, Carol Marx and Tommy Sheridan Who's most genuine? Hacking my lungs like a I was born to spit My five year old niece knows those dark clouds are ominous, ominous. I'm not impressed without moded ideologists You can watch, watch the, the throne, throne mate I'm not a monarchist Heads of state decapitate for golden precious ornaments Excuse my foreignness The fat of the land has made us corpulent In a world of Coca-Cola and Paul the psychic octopus Fiction is strange but the truth is something odd in it Bumping the gums when we hear disobedience Under the thumb with the woman misleading him She's needy and sees his receding Give her an ingredient Put her fetus in her estrogen bleeding An eager beaver in a period of inconvenient Deviant seriousness Discernible truth Contagious, outrageous Regurgitate what somebody says It's really that basic But we speak to idiots on a day to day basis Some burn the brain in a lazy hiatus With John Terry's failed racist Put a Chelsea smiling faces Hector's a hundred acres ahead and it's advantageous. Yeah. <laughs> well Fuck done, yes, man. Good one. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Um, it was definitely a Jimmy World song. Um, Bach's Requiem. <laughs> that was Louis from Hector Berserk and Dave from Stanley Odd. They've both got albums dropping this summer. Check them out. Now, we've had a DJ on all night, and Ali's gotten to speak to him. Mash, thank you so much for being our DJ tonight. Uh, what's the usual set include for anyone that's not seen you do your thing? Mainly house, but I mean, in, in my radio show I play lots of different styles, just electronic music, basically. Uh, no fixed abode, just all different styles, basically. Nice, I'd want to give that a wee plug right now. Uh, well, just play my new single which is coming out at the end of July. It's coming out in vinyl, limited vinyl, which I'm really excited about. And uh, that's on Glasgow Underground? Glasgow Underground, yep. And I've got an album that I'm trying to finish just now. <laughs> Probably should be finished by now, but I'm getting there. <laughs> um. <laughs> 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 
the soundtrack to Pretty in Pink. That was Honeyblood, and they're now over here with me. Hello, how are you? We're good, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely smashing. Uh, yeah, so tell us a bit about Honeyblood. I mean, you've only been around for a couple of months, but you've got quite a big fan base already. You've been making waves. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's been good. We've been together since January, really. Played our first gig in February, I think. So we've only played how many gigs now? Six? Seven. Yeah, maybe like seven or something. There's only so six, pretty, seven gigs. Pretty new. Uh, so what have you got planned for the summer? Uh, we're going on a kind of tour down to Brighton and London. Uh, that's what's planned. I think we're going to play some shows in Edinburgh and Glasgow as well. Um, just play as much as possible, really. Cool. Yeah, get about a bit. And <laughs> Excellent. And am I not right in saying you've already released a cassette? A cassette. We as have. You can see, we are big fans of cassettes here. Uh, so, aye, I'm looking forward to it. Any more cassettes coming out? or? Um, hopefully, hopefully more, maybe a CD, a CD, a CD we're, we're or a bit technical, something yeah. digital maybe, and then hopefully another tape at some point as well. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you do do another tape, then we can put it in here and I will take it to the next man I'm going to go and see just down the road. The 
first track we are taking to the big man this month is a blistering return for Ayrshire's Suchio Pedal. It's a track called A River of Blood and it's the first little taster from their fourth album which is coming out soon called Fused. Next up, a bit of a change of pace. This is a track called Smile by an artist from Peebles in the Scottish Borders called Plum. She's got a really powerful voice that mixes really well with these dark, intricate beats. I wonder what Mr. News is going to make of Plum. Everybody laughs, everybody laughs. Finally, an MC from Glasgow by the name of Gasp, who, along with his best mate Depps, runs the Bad Mouth Battles, pretty much the sickest battle rap event in Scotland. Here is a little track he chucked up as a free download on his Bandcamp. This is Gasp with a track called Running Scared. Call it what you want, I'm awfully nonchalant No confidant, I lost a lot the same day I bought the plot Stammer than a cough, there's no wagon to go off Hammering across, there's so much anger and I lost So that's our choices this month, but you know what? What does our opinion count? But we can take these tracks to the man at the epicentre of the Glasgow nightlife He's got a really cool news agent in Sucky Hall Street His name is Mr News is that clear that I'm a famous now? Yeah. Did you watch it? 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 Miss Lipstick come tonight. <laughs> but why are you mad with that his jumper? <laughs> That's... I think so, it's uh, just for... This is for only for youngers. It's not like for my age. It's for younger people. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, okay, good. That's quite rapid, rapid. Nice. That is okay as well. No, is a before one is a better than everyone. This is second. Oh, I don't have my autograph on. Turn, turn about. Where? So we try again. No. <laughs> uh, I don't think music was appropriate for the event <laughs> at all. I've not asked him that. You're a monster. <laughs> right, so this handsome gentleman to my right is Stu, the lead singer of Midnight Line. When was the last time you played a gig? We were trying to think about that. I mean, it was it was months ago. It was before, it was like autumn last year or something. It was. What have you been up to? We've been working hard, like trying to do uh, a load of writing, some studio stuff, trying to get into doing more production side of things as well. Been working on a lot of remixes and, you know, keeping busy. Nice. Trying to get the albums on and all the rest of it, you know. Now, you can hear again set up in the background, you've got quite a stage show ready for us tonight. Talk us through what's going on. Yeah, well, because we're quite a studio band, really, we know we've got a lot of stuff going on, so we kind of felt like when we coming back to play live, it was like, well, let's try and do as much as we can. So, yeah, we pulled in a couple of favours, got some people to get them on board, and, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be all right. Beautiful. Well, there's a lot of people waiting to see you right now, so you should go and get ready. I will. I will. Thanks. Have fun. Yes, Midnight Line coming up.
Cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> was that one the one? I don't want to wait for this life to be over. Yeah, don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs>